If you wanted to point the finger at where the Phyrexians came from, Yawgmoth would be a solid first person to point at considering he is what created them. Yawgmoth wasn't always the ineffable lord of the wastes, a god. He was, at one point, a local representative, and part-time mad doctor, but after being ousted from Halcyon for backing a eugenicist faction, Yawgmoth would wander the Dominaria for the better part of five years, and turn his Hippocratic Oath into more of a Hippocratic suggestion, as he committed some truly depraved acts just in time to abscond back to Halcyon to treat the lead artificier Glacian for Physis, and take note that the city was ripe for conquering by seizing the means of the cure and holding the council to ransom and manipulating Glacian's wife Rebecca. Things would get worse upon the arrival of the planeswalker by the name of Dyfed, who showed Yogmoth other worlds beyond Dominaria, and for showing him a world made purely of metal, he would thank Dyfed by stabbing her in the head with a power stone dagger, and having her vivisected to use for research on how to acquire her spark. Yogmoth would inevitably be sealed in Phyrexia, where he bonded himself to the very core of the plane and ascended as a god, and for thousands of years plotted his revenge against his own homeland, raising armies and creating new monsters that would haunt the nightmares of Dominaria. Ultimately, Yogmoth would fail, defeated by the artificer Urza, but to this day, Yogmoth's vile creations still live on. Thank you so much for watching, and may your revels never end.